I was an atheist. My dad never went. He was raised uh, in a Roman Catholic family and was an atheist as long as he could remember and basically raised me to be an atheist. Mm -hmm. I, I remember some, some very formative conversations with him where I was like getting to spend time with dad. Like it was mm -hmm. dad time, which mm -hmm. is so important to a, a boy growing up. Yeah. And he would tell me like, uh, here's why you shouldn't believe in God. Mm. Here's why it's just a bunch of nonsense. Here's what you can say to the Christians around you when they tell you to believe the Bible. In the army, I, I probably mellowed out a little. I was, I'd say I was more agnostic. Some of that was probably just recognizing I could get shot in the face any night of the week. Just, just hard like to the, be an atheist in the foxhole. That's, yeah, the old saying is true. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no atheists in foxholes. Because you so, weren't like making coffee behind the wire. You were a, a ranger. I was in First Ranger Battalion. So when I was deployed, we were sleeping during the daylight hours, and then we woke up as the sun was going down, and we got a mission, and we flew somewhere every night and mm. grabbed bad guys and took them back, and right. we did that for 90 days straight. When I got out of the military, I was newly married to my wife, Catherine. I had a Bible on my shelf that I had since I was a teenager. I mm. don't think I'd ever opened it. Mm. I, I kind of took over putting my son to bed. So he would, he, he was the second child. So he like got the bottle in the mouth and he was in the rocker thing in mm. the dark, <laughs> trying to make him go to sleep. Yeah. While I was putting him to bed, I would read the Bible with a headlamp on in the dark, just started in Genesis chapter one and just read through. At some point in those weeks of reading, I I just heard God speaking to me. I mm. recognized this is not a normal book. I'm hearing God's voice. This is a book directed at me. It's cutting to my soul. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't shake it. I mean, the only rules that applied to me in my worldview were the ones that I determined applied to me. Mm -hmm. And I had not decided that I was going to feel guilty for neglecting my family and putting work and athletic performance first and yeah. all the other things, all the profanity, all the sexual immorality uh, through through lustful thoughts and looking mm -hmm. at pornography, all the things normal people did. Mm -hmm. None of that should have phased me, but it did. And so mm -hmm. I got the sense I'm, I'm someday going to give an account to someone outside of me who has a law that applies to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel that. And I, and I was reading this book like, oh, this is the same God. I came to understand the gospel, I really was saved just reading the Bible on my own. Yeah. And so the next step for, for me was, I'm reading the Bible, like, I think I should be in a church. Yeah. 